Hello, people of the interwebs! Welcome back to my Let's Play of Eternal Eyes for Ergognica. Really good old games no one cares about. I am WanderGirl108. We are heading into the third area now. Do you have anything interesting to say, Alina? Um. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Third area, third chapter, Baptism of Fire. Love that title. Um. I'm gonna wander around here for a minute, speak to some people, see if they have anything different to say. No, that's the same thing she said before. Huh. Hey, kid. No, it was not, actually. It was the same thing you asked about before. Yep, same things. Um... You know what, let's just go into a building or two, just cause... Kothea Korotrotro? No. I, maybe it is, I don't friggin' know. <laughs> okay, so this is a pub. <laughs> yeah, Power Rice is the third up. <laughs> yes, okay, I guess this is a tutorial for combat that I never knew about before. Yeah, that's how combat works. Hello. Um, nothing, thanks. Yeah, they don't let you drink underage because you're a kid. Um, I wouldn't anyway. Like, I'm 22. I avoid alcohol so much. Like, I, I don't like it. I've tried it. I don't like it. I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> completely off topic here. Alright, so, Hall of Dolls is our next destination, and Alina's going to come with us this time, as we get a bit of dialogue. And ominous music. Huh, that's an interesting way to look at it. Yeah, that question he asks, that's what Luke said. I, I'm not sure how translation mixed that up, but I guess it did. That's funny. And never will because you're not albino. <laughs> Aw. Pouty face. The Lord. Huh. Well, it's not like there's anything else you can do. Okay, so just like that, into the dungeon area. Now! <clears throat> Pardon my slightly congested self. Um... Okay, now we can give her a glass glass. And didn't we get a jewel? That is useless. That's not nearly as impressive as it sounds. Okay. First floor. Let's go. 
Now then, as promised, um, I'm about to run out of things to say about this game for commentary. Also, awesome music. Okay. Um, what do we have here? We have... Or sash talk. And then two death bats. I think what I've always done is had Luke take, Luke take care of the death bats and then split up the sash talks between my other puppets. Except there are only three of them. Okay, scratch that. I'm gonna have Luke. Wait. Okay, yeah. Huh. Let's see what this does. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll just randomly do stuff. I uh I don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, about to run out of commentary things. Let me show you Grail. Ooh, it has a range of four, nice. Yeah, it just drops a rock. You know, reviewing the footage for the last video, I think there are like not color weaknesses, but like magic type weaknesses? Possibly? I don't know. Anyway, about to run out of things to say, so I'm going to talk about the first series on this channel, which was for Kingsley's Adventure. Which again, I I did that game as like a warm-up, because I know that starting out let's plays aren't gonna be good. It just they just won't be. Um, Let's see what wisdom does to you. Okay, so, Kingsley's Adventure. Um... Yeah, I did that as kind of a warm-up, because I know starting out, less players, you know, you're gonna start off bad and you're gonna get used to things. But it is still... Oh. I missed. Oh well. It is still a really good old game that no one really cares about. And... Haha, <laughs> look, it's trying to run away. Like, it's not just a retro game, it's a good retro game. It's a small one, but it's good, and it still demonstrates what I'm trying to do with this series, so let me explain why. Well, it's about anthropomorphic animals. I mean, that's a, that's a concept that's been explored here and there, like Redwall and Mossflower in the Redwall series. I am not able to hit these bats. Um... Haha. Uh -huh. But, like, being able to interactively participate in such a story is neat. It was a very neat thing. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Hang on, let me check something. Okay. And you know, the size of the creatures is kind of disproportionate. Like, the king and queen are rabbits, and they're several times the size of a fox cub. That's kind of weird. <laughs> um, but you know, it was one of those things where it didn't have to make sense. It wasn't supposed to. And that was nice. And also Kingsley being like the smallest creature you encounter. 
it, it made victories much more gratifying being the smaller thing, you know? Which is kind of the point, I'm sure. While the story is far from perfect, and, you know, just the game in general is far from perfect, um, you know, it has some, like, it, it's existent, basically. It has a story. It has a story that kind of... I was going to say gets you invested, but it, it drives the game, kind of. The best thing about Kingsley's Adventure is the fact that, like, you go to towns and stuff, and there are houses and, you know, civilians, people. And not just people, but, like, people who... Oh, I don't have enough magic. Um... Oh, I don't have enough magic for anything. Okay, I'll just wait then. Anyway, yeah, like civilians who don't matter. Like, there, there, there are just people that don't matter that you don't ever have to talk to or see. They never do anything, and there's quite a few of them. Actually, there's quite a few NPCs like that. They provide world building, I guess? And, and not only are the people who, like, you don't have to meet, who don't do anything, what they say changes depending on what you do in the story. And that brings a world to life more than anything. Also, as far as gameplay goes, well, it's responsive. And that's... Whoa. That was a cool animation. Oh, look! <laughs> it was just, just barely unable to hit card night there. Anyway, gameplay. Also awesome in Kingsley's Adventure. It's responsive. It does a thing if you tell it to. And that's, that matters more than anything. My favorite thing about the gameplay in Kingsley's Adventure would probably be you have a shield and you could use it, and if you use it, and you're like aiming at an enemy, it negates damage. You can't knock it out of a- uh, they can't knock it out of your hand. You can just hold up your shield and take hits and nothing will happen to you. But you have to stop in order to attack. So that kind of- like having encountered a lot of enemies that do that in a game, that you can just like wail on their shield and do they won't do anything. Hang on, let me. Oh, I don't even have enough magic for that. Alright. But yeah, like having a lot of enemies that can just like take a bunch of hits and not lose health and then you can't do that. That's frustrating. The, the shield, like, puts the combat on an even level. So it really is like tactics, not just, you know, these enemies are stronger than you. And also just the variance in creatures. Like, they don't really vary in terms of what they do. But the fact that they vary in, like, shape anyway... It's nice. I'm sorry, I'm only half paying attention to what I'm saying. Um, yay! Alright, what do I get? Yellow beast. White beast. Flame lamps, ooh! Blue power. Blue power. I think...
Uh. Dang it. Well. Ooh. Well, that's good, I guess. And then. Dreamer. Yes. Ooh, no card night, no Sean. Ooh, that's a good magic. And of course, weapon. It lowers your speed. I don't know what speed even does, so... <laughs> okay. Talking about the game- this game again. This room right here... First time I played this game, this room was where I hit a wall. And could not progress for the life of me. Like, I just- I just got stuck. I just- I couldn't do it. Um... Oh! Dang it. Okay, every time you evolve a puppet, it loses its- its accessories. So you have to re-equip it, which obviously I didn't do. I forgot about that. Ugh. Anyway. So yeah, this is where I stopped playing the first time I ever played this game and didn't come back to it for like ages. But I'm good enough at it now. Okay. See, throws an SW. I once saw that description somewhere online and the person who did it put in parentheses WTF. I think that stands for shockwave? Because look. Looks like a wave, don't you think? I mean, the magic is called wave. So I think that's what it was supposed to be. Not very well done, obviously. The thing in this level to not, to be careful not to do is to not get backed up into this corner where the doors are. It's very easy to get, like, locked in there. And also, staying together probably isn't a good idea, but... There isn't much else I can do with this one. Anyway, Kingsley's Adventure. Um... It was... Well, it was... It was animals in clothes. I mean... Like, it wasn't just monsters that were oddly anthropomorphic. Everything was. And that's really cool. And also just not a thing that really happens anymore. As far as I know. And the graphics in Kingsley's Adventure- Oh! God. Okay, this is why I'm not supposed to cluster. How am I not dead? Tongue. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I thought so. Okay, um... This should save me. I hope. What? Oh, crud. Oh. Oh, it was this one. It was this one I was supposed to do that to. Okay. But this should save me, at least. Nope. Sorry. 
sorry about that. This room is difficult. And I haven't saved. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Okay, um, get yeah, Luke's about to die. I mentioned this in an annotation, I think Whisper might actually be like a specialized version of Nebulas for Atogi specifically. I'm still gonna try and figure that out. Okay, health restore. I'm sorry, I've been completely derailed from my train of thought. Um... Okay. And I'll just use a healing item on myself, because... Me too. Not sure attacking would heal me. So I'll just hope, have to hope that does. Yeah, this- this is where- Don't do it, don't do it, don't- No! You... Little... Ugh. Oh yeah, I have the flame lance. Okay, there's an example of the attack animation- or the attack sound and the miss sound playing at once. Still not sure what that means. This was a bad idea. Calling it right now. Hang on. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, this is what I get for leveling up. Er, evolving. But... All right, my commentary is dead. I'm sorry. Ooh. Two, four. Ha! That's called METS. <gasps> Don't do it. Thank you. Hmm. Maybe that sound just plays for the lance. I don't know. I don't think so, but... Let's show the people Ignis, shall we? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, looking good. Suddenly. My commentary, however, is not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm supposed to be talking about King's Lee's Adventure. Okay, um... Graphics. Graphics in King's Lee's Adventure. They're good. I like them. <laughs> um... What can I say about that? They're... I'm sorry, I'm... See what this does. Okay, this is gonna work out just fine. Haha. <laughs> there. Graphics and Clean Seas Adventure are... I want to say cartoony, except they're not. They're more... I'm sorry, it's hard to think and play at the same time, even a game like this. Um... Okay, here we go. They're like, animated, I guess? Like an animated film? Not a cartoon, but a... 3D animation thing. Ooh! Ruby bracelet. Ruby bracelet. Another one. A bandana. And a bandana. Okay. No jewels. That's fine. And that reminded me, normally when I'm playing this game, I automatically save after every room. Ah, uh, no, no ruby, ruby bracelets for anyone. Hmm. Yes. Um. Sure. Yeah, save. I'm saving. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. There isn't much to say about Kenny's Adventure, really. I mean, it's a short game. It's a very small game, obviously. Um, and I feel like towards the end, they kind of started to lose interest. Like in Aphasia, where the wizard lived, there were no other houses, there was just his. Oh my! Three chuff and shoot two dreamers. That's a problem. I'm not sure what to do about this. Guess I'll just do what I did in the last room. I was never a chuck, I was Otogi, so... Okay, so that's what Beast does. I'm still t gonna test my, like, magic-type vulnerability theory. Hey! 
Hey. the last room before the boss room anyway. I guess. Ooh. Nice. As I was saying, like in aphasia at the end where the wizard lived, there's the castle, and then there's the wizard's house that looks like a book, and then there's nothing else. Even though across the bridge there's another like NPC. So it kind of seemed to be running out of steam by the end, which is a shame. Um And the ending, I don't really get the ending. Does it mean like none of it was ever real? Let's try wisdom. See what that does. Ooh. Yes, okay, there are definitely type weaknesses. I'm gonna go with that right now. You know what this will do? One strike. Yeah, the annoying thing about the Hall of Dolls is that there are walls that you can't see through, like just around the edges. But this wasn't too hard. Sandwich, nice. A hat! And another hat. Green beast. And trainers. Okay, so now we're getting accessories. That's nice. I guess. So, yeah, like, I don't know if the whole thing was supposed to have been a puppet show or. But you know, the 
characters are cute. And the voice thing, I really actually like the voice thing. I know it's supposed to be annoying. Maybe it's not, but I thought it was really cute. And like how it was different depending on the species. But they could all understand each other anyway. That was fun. Pretty sure this is the boss fight here. Oh! Nope. Bone rock. White cross. It occurs to me, I didn't check the names of the magical hats or the ghosts in the second room. Oh well. Uh, uh, so hard to find a good angle in these rooms. Oh! Whoops. I don't think I've ever been this... I, I hesitate to say sloppy. I guess all over the place with how I fight puppets. Normally I'm much more organized, but now I... Now I understand that my organization is flawed, and so now I'm just not doing anything by any organizational form. And that's... Yeah. Okay, um... So yeah, I'm kind of out of things to say about Kingsley. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just it was a small game. But it was fun for what it was worth. There were some interesting mechanics. The, the double tap forward to like make a long jump, that was really nice considering like the small, small platforms you had to make jumps from sometimes. So that, that was a neat little idea. Like nowadays with so many different things you have to do with different buttons, like I, like I mentioned in the last video, I've been playing Dark Souls lately. And like the kick to disarm an enemy or like the jumping attack, you're supposed to hold forward on the control stick and attack. But the thing is, I, I have never, ever been able to do that on purpose. Like it's happened accidentally sometimes. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that. Like, it's happened accidentally sometimes, and most of the time it's helpful, but sometimes, like, it, like, completely throws me off and has even killed me at times. So... Because, like, I'm normally pressing forward when I'm fighting. Like, I'm trying to run and fight at the same time. Forward. And most of the time, nothing happens. I can never do it on purpose, and, you know, when it happens by accident, I still don't know what the difference is. So having, like, a simple thing that you can't really mess up so much, that isn't so much left a chance, it was really nice in Kingsley. A time of simpler mechanics, I guess. Now even the good games have to have all kinds of fancy things. Just like the last one. Weird. 
<laughs> Blue Holy. Yellow Wisdom. Horn Vest. Yellow Holy. Okay. I just... Kingsley was a small but fun game, is all I can say, really. <laughs> Torn Vest gives you one defense point up. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> yes. What do you learn? Thought so. That, that's a status change. Okay, now see, there are two jewels on standby. Yeah, that's because you need three to evolve it again. Ooh. That's like Grail, only a powered up version. They're like powered up versions of magics, too. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm just... Uh. There's, just, there's not much to say about Kingsley. Like, the fact that you get better weapons as you go along, and then... Those completely render the previous weapons useless. That was kind of annoying. Like, there were just weapons that were objectively better. This is the boss fight, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Love this music. And that purple version of the ghosts we saw earlier is, obviously, like Satopio, it's a new thing. And we can still get this thing, too. Eventually. I think for like the second to last video, I'm gonna like do a bunch of grinding for jewels off screen and then like evolve puppets through the vi all like all the different puppets you can get and then show everyone like all the stuff on the um like Pokedex like thing. Okay, so I think you can see what I'm going to do here. Power Knight will take on, Junior will take the other, and Luke will just take on the... Let me check what its name is this time. War Spirit, okay. And, yes, 337 health. That's what makes it a boss. Okay, time to show you... Let's do rock. It's cool. And it's a unique magic, unlike most. It's strong, too. Ow. Ah, mess ups. Ow. Again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing anything in this game correctly. I don't even know if it's possible to pronounce things in this game correctly, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna go nowhere fast, too. Rage. Low cost for relatively high strength. Big boulder. Ah, 
Matzo. Haha! <laughs> wow, Luca's actually really low defense. I mentioned I never, like, go to vendors and, like, buy weapons or armor in this game, but I might this time, because I just haven't been getting it. I'll just break open this. Red wisdom, okay. Okay, this thing has a really low magic defense, so I should probably actually waste my magic points doing this first. to get the height bonus next turn. Does attacking from the side do anything? I don't think it does, but this thing seems to think it does. Oh! That still did more damage. Not bad. Height bonus, baby. See, and it's not ins insignificant, either. Oh, another pink holy. Okay. Yeah. The height increase in defense, too, is nice, but I'm still gonna heal right now. You know, since I'm out of things to say about Kingsley's Adventure, and this is gonna take a while, I think I'm just gonna cut it here, and I will be right back. Okay, not right now. Just showing it was good that I used the last page. Okay. Now I'll be right back. Alright. And I am back with the finishing blow. Poof. Bloody bloody blah. Fire! This is the baptism of fire. I think. Yes, you can unmake dolls so you can keep rem remaking them, which is why... Okay, here's the thing, but you must never allow your power to be used by others. Use your power for what you believe is right. Okay, so we get another puppet and we get the Stone of Darkness. So now I can, like, grind for jewels and then just evolve with puppet a ways and then unmake it and then evolve it through again. Okay. If I recall correctly, this is where things go bad. The inscribed promise. I'm not sure when it or where it is inscribed or what this promise is. Still not sure. But we're gonna see. But things are not going so well in the kingdom.
Okay, so we're immediately drawn into the castle with, like, no time to breathe. I think we are allowed to go outside, though, and I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna go back to the Hall of Dolls and show you guys what happens to the boss room after. It's empty. Did I gather jewels or something? I did. But neither of them are useful. Or wait. Yeah, no. So yeah, suddenly the action kicked up. Okay, here are some truly delightful creatures. This creature here is called a shadow. Look at it. It's so cool. This thing here is called a para para. This is one of the puppets I somehow ended up getting the first time I played through this game and didn't really understand how the evolution thing worked. Look at it. it. It's it's nothing. It's like a paper thin thing with like wings and half of it's orange and half of it's purple. It has a little orange curl on top of its head. It's delightful. It's a thing that isn't a thing. It's wonderful. I love the creatures in this game so much. And this here is called Beepo. He's cute. He also has a healing spell if I recall correctly. So that's gonna be annoying. I'll put Card Knight on that. And I guess I'll put the Dreamer on the shadows. Yes. Um. Holy would probably do a lot of power against a ghost, don't you think? I don't know how it works. I'm only just figuring out that it even exists now. <laughs> oh, something I forgot to mention. Um, on the battlefield... <laughs> twirly, twirly. On a battlefield, like a dungeon battlefield... love that master casting animation. It's awesome. All of the creatures and people continuously make the movements of walking. Oh, it missed. Nice. And of course, shadows teleport. So like you'll notice, Luke is continuously walking even when he's in place. Same for the other puppets. And for anything else as well. So those para para, they walk by like Twirling, which is weird. Okay, let me try something here. Oh. Nope. See, normally it's the puppet on the outside of Skirts of the Magic that takes the most damage, but sometimes it's not, and that's annoying. Hi, people. Reminds me of Pepe. From the Muppets. Flappy, flappy. I love these creatures so much. Even more than like Creatures in Kingsley's Adventure where animals or people and fish walk on land and stuff and wear clothes. Things that make no sense at all are just a delight. There is nothing that I like seeing more in a game than a creature that makes no sense whatsoever. Weird as that is. <laughs> Twirly, 
twirly, twirly, twirly. Ooh. Ow. Please don't do the same thing. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um... Okay. I am down a puppet. Obviously. The thing is, I love Card Knight because it has such a high melee attack. I, I don't... Do I reset? You want... Hang on, BRB, I'm gonna reset, actually. Did I save? I think I didn't save. But hang on, I'll be right back. You've seen everything, so you won't miss anything if I do this again. Okay, hi, I'm back. I'm gonna save this time, because I didn't. <laughs> Had to go through that boss fight again. Also discovered that pressing start allows you to skip an entire scene. Which is nice. Also got some jewels, different from last time. Um... Ooh, nice. Huh. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> I am sorry. Alright, the same monsters again. Sometimes it's different. Like, certain rooms have, like, two or three different sets of monsters they can have in them. But... Same this time, and I'm gonna be more careful this time. I guess. Oh. I'm just gonna spread my things out right now. makes it harder for things to team up on you. Twirl! Hey, that's the same magic that Muscu and Palam start out with. Probably called Hammer, though. Flappy Flappy! <laughs> So, I guess this episode was kind of a failure, um... Ooh! Nice. Yeah, I, uh... I wanted to explain why Kingsley's Adventure qualified for Organica, but I didn't really... Ooh, check this out. You can attack behind something. You can't attack through them, unfortunately. That's something that a certain type of magic is reserved for. But... Uh... No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so this is a spell that you can use on allies, if they get hit by a thing. <sighs> 
there's so many, like, non-offensive types of magic that you can use that I never do. Just because they're really difficult and annoying to use. Ooh! That's one more thing out of my face. Um... I do that in Pokemon, too. I don't use the stats changing moves. I just go for straight on attack, because... Anything else is pretty much a waste of time, usually. Hey, could you not kill me again? That would be awesome. You stupid paper thin thing. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do this. Not sure how much of the failure of using this for Gognica reviews of other games I've done. Not sure how much of it's a failure because I don't know what to say about Kingsley's adventure, and how much of it's a failure just because I have ADD and get very easily distracted by anything at all. Uh, probably a little of both. Don't you dare! Thank you. doesn't work very well against shadows. Or maybe... Uh, I don't even know. At least this is going better than before. Oh yeah, I get distracted very easily. I guess a lot of the things I love about King Lou's Adventure aren't really things that can be said. You know, you, you have to look at it to get it. Ooh. Ooh, I have an idea. No. even. Nice. I guess it's, it, I think it's mostly the cuteness of the game. <gasps> oh, you sack of- oh. oh, I am going to slaughter your ass right now. Die. 
Yeah, yeah most of the thing about King's Seeds Adventure is that it's more cute than anything. And cute's nice. Ooh, Power Rice. That's the best. One of the best healing items. White Beast. Yellow Power. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was, um... That was a lot of stupid by me. Oh, I get to be in the kingdom now. And run around. Yeah, like they said, everyone's missing. And also, it's raining. Because bad things are happening, and rain means bad things. I'm gonna change Dreamer's name. Oh, I promised to show you. Um, here's what happens if you try to write your own name. I'm gonna try to do Dreamer. Yeah, I have like space for one more character, see? Don't know why it works that way, but whatever. Um, exchange also means you can like... You can change the order. See, so looks at the top there and then Dream and then Card and That's the order that it cycles when you're like on the field. So you can move them around too. Um oh yeah, I can make random dolls as well. Let's do that actually. Oh, that gets rid of Whisper, I guess. And S of D. You can only use that here, and you can use that to just unmake puppets. Actually, I'll do that too, just to show you. But the name is still screwed, so I'd have to change it if I wanted to make it into something else. Okay, um... I think that's gonna do it for this episode. <laughs> Sorry, my plan didn't really work out very well. It's just Kingsley's Adventure is a small, cute game. There really isn't much else to say. It's responsive, the controls are good, the story is just enough of story to be a thing, and you know, it's cute. That <laughs> that's really all there is to say. Okay, we can go in the castle now. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. So. Thank you so very much for watching, if you did. Um... Yeah. Thank you for watching, if you did. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Next time I'm gonna be talking about Threads of Fate, and I do have a lot to say about that game. Obviously. But, like, a lot that I didn't say before. So anyway, yeah, thank you very much, and I will see you next time.